I'm welcoming the opportunity to debate the need to resolve the ongoing dispute over the level of sanitary and phytosanitary checks and paperwork required for goods being imported from Britain. Those goods include products of animal origin, plants, plant products, food and feed of non-animal products, and high-risk food of non-animal origin. We should be clear, however, the new checks and paperwork required for those goods are a direct result of that Brexit. The majority of people in Northern Ireland did not vote for that Brexit, and the majority of people in the North recognise the fact that the protocol is a direct outcome of that Brexit. The EU, and this is reality, has a duty and responsibility to protect the single market on behalf of its member states. Both the EU and the British Government also have a duty and responsibility to protect the Good Friday Agreement, as do we. The Brexit Protocol is an integral part of the Dáil Agreement, negotiated between the British Government and the EU. It attempts to meet those duties and responsibilities. In the unlikely event of Boris Johnson reaching for the nuclear option of triggering Article 16, those duties and responsibilities will still remain. They will still require agreement between the EU and, British, uh, and the British Government on how to manage the situation going forward. This debate, however, does give the Assembly an opportunity to demonstrate that the majority of elected representatives here do not support the position as articulated by the DUP, who, prompted by Mr Allister, are threatening the institutions of the Good Friday Agreement if the protocol is not abandoned. I suspect that positioning has as much to do with their anxieties over the electoral prospects as it does a desire to resolve any outstanding issues on SPS checks. That said, since the Brexit Protocol was agreed, there has been ongoing disputes and delays over its implementation and the level of SPS checks and paperwork required. But the SPS checks and paperwork are there to protect that EU single market, not just in the present but also in the future. The cheerleaders for Brexit and the DUP may not like it, but the reality is the prospect of a divergence in standards between what is allowed in the UK market and what is allowed in the EU single market requires checks to be made on those goods. And there is a mechanism there for working through the difficulties. There is a joint committee.